today I'm going to share my recipe with you on how to can your own ranch style beans at home. Uh, ranch style beans go great with a meal, they go great with just opening them up and maybe cook some cornbread to go with them. You can also make a quick chili. There's a lot of recipes out there that use ranch style beans. So this is a real inexpensive way for you to make your own. Uh, we're going to start out today. The recipe I'll give you will be in the comments. And it is, the recipe ingredients are per pint jar. That's what you'll add to each jar. I've added a one third cup of kidney beans. You can use kidneys, pintos, whatever you decide to use. I added a half a teaspoon of salt to each jar and a half a cup of seasoned blend. Seasoned blend is a combination of onions, bell peppers, celery, a little bit of parsley. So if you don't use seasoned blend, you have your own onions and bell peppers, just make a mixture. Uh, you'll need two cups for four jars. So just make up a mixture of onions, bell peppers, and celery. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire per jar. I just kind of drizzled in a little bit. doesn't have to be exact, but it's approximately about half a teaspoon. Then I mixed up a teaspoon of smoked paprika, chili powder, onion powder, and garlic powder. Mix that all together, and we're going to add one teaspoon per jar or you'll just divide this mixture up over the four jars. So your salt's in the jar, you don't need to add any more salt. Your seasoning, your dry seasoning mix is in. Uh, the next thing we're gonna add is, I usually add an eighth of a cup of tomato sauce, eighth cup of rotels. But the rotels, rotels, excuse me, that I can myself have tomato sauce already in them. So I added two one eight cup scoops of my homemade rotels. If you're gonna do it from home, you'll need a eighth of a cup of tomato sauce and an eighth of a cup of rotels. You can see that it's got a lot of tomato sauce in it and it's not just tomato juice. After we get our Rotel tomato sauce mixture in, the next thing we're going to add is a teaspoon of green chilies to each jar. As you can see, we're adding a lot of flavor to each jar. These beans really make an easy, quick chili. You can just brown a little bit of ground meat, and open a couple of jars, and you're ready to go. These are my uh, homemade crispy sweet jalapenos. If you don't have any kind of uh, sweet jalapeno, just use a regular jalapeno. I like to put my jalapenos up as uh, crispy. Some people call them cowboy candy. Add my kettle boiling in the background. Uh, we're going to add, fill our jars up and leave a one inch head space. And this water was boiling. And once we get our water in, you're just going to take a spoon and stir it up a little bit. And that way you know that your seasonings aren't stuck on the bottom, that this hot water has helped dissolve all those seasonings, including your salt. After we get our uh, water added, we're going to place our lid zone, ring zone, finger tight. Pressure can for 75 minutes on 10 pounds. I'm below, I'm below sea level, so that would be my uh, pressure can amount. If you're above sea level, you'll need to look up what, uh, what you need to use for your... If you haven't joined our channel, do so by clicking on the uh, subscribe button. Also click on the notifications bell so you get notifications of any new videos coming out. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. This is a pressure prepper and I'm out.